this is Todd Ayers with Spider Axe. We're gonna be showing insulation of our Railless studless system. For demonstration purposes, we have a, a tile and composite shingle roof just to show our two different mounts. With this system, there's no looking for the rafters. We have a specially designed deck screw. The feet come with pre-installed butyl on the base plate. So there's no tar, there's no, no silicone. The composite shingle mounts come with a, a flashing as well as a butyl on the base plate. The tile mount comes with an S-hook. It'll fit on flat concrete tile or the S-tile. The one mount out of the box will work for both. The, it comes, comes from the base all the way to the top with everything you need in one box, with, like the butyl, the screws, the S-hook, the, the micro rail, and the mid and the top clamp. It's gonna fit every, every module manufacturer out of the box as well. So one part numbered order for tile, one part numbered order for comp shingle. We offer them in black powder coat finish or mill finish. It really speeds up the insulation when you're not looking for rafters, you're not cutting rails, splicing rails, bonding rails, so a lot to be said there. There's always a little learning curve how to install this compared to a rail system, but usually after one job, that learning curve is gone. Everything is 100% US made. We manufacture everything in Utah. We're a fully integrated manufacturer of our mountings to keep the quality consistent and the turnaround time low on our products. We usually have everything you could need in stock. If not, we can, we can turn around quickly. There's also integrated wire management in the, in the rail itself. Uh, it's a washer and a small bolt, the same size socket as a deck screw, so you can put microinverter cables, um, or PV cables in there and attach them across the roof as well as a microinverter or optimizer mount on the bottom bottom of the rail with, with a single bolt that matches the socket size of the 3 8 hardware. So we really try to simplify the insulation and take a lot of the guesswork out of the, the mounting. So you won't need any saws, anything to cut rails, just just two different socket sizes for the whole insulation. We have uh, PE testing in all 50 states, up to 180 mile per hour wind rating.
as you can see, the, the middle of the module is dipping down. That's a, for a roof variation. It's, it's an easy height adjustment after the modules are installed. So as you can see, the, the right corner of the module is dipping down. He's going to adjust that after it's installed. So you just loosen that bolt, level it out, and tighten it back up, and you're done with, with your height adjustment. So inch and a half of vertical height adjustment, eight inches of left to right adjustment, so you don't have to be exactly perfect with your mount. You have plenty of adjustability, so you get the benefit of a railed system without all the, without all the hassle of a rail. Thanks for watching. This is Todd Ayers with Spider Axe. For more information, go to spideraxe.com, S-P-I-D-E-R-R-A-X.com.